Hey YouTube, AJ here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made my little wedge ramp and my little quarter pipe basically for free out of scrap. Stay tuned. First, let's go through the construction of the wedge ramp and then we'll talk about how I did a couple of things and why. Okay, so after you've seen how I basically made this, uh, the general idea for this ramp was to be a pretty mellow ramp to, because uh, for me to learn on, I did use a street sign for the uh, transition plate. And yes, I did not steal that. I uh, bought it legally um, from eBay actually. But anyhow, um, I did cut the and this angle, this is a 90 degree corner here for the for the coping slash bed rail coping I made on it. And that's basically so I could do tricks up onto it without tearing up the end of the ramp constantly. And then this you can see is at a little slight angle. Uh, that is basically for twofold. Well, again, like maybe to do like kind of like try to do wallies on the front end of it or and or if you're hitting the ramp, uh, it will keep it from it gives it some resistance to keep it from sliding when you hit it uh, I'm 170 ish pounds so you know I got to keep it from moving around my deck is made from you know again all this is free wood so this is OSB with a 3 8 sheet of plywood over it and then uh, masonite on top of that you can see where I kind of this is where I screwed up that angle I didn't get this to match I cut it the wrong way actually so you know it is what it is with the transition plate on it. It's sturdy enough. It won't matter now um, but Overall, I'm real happy with it um, I just painted it with leftover paint I had from another project and uh, Yeah, it's it works nicely Looking underneath you can see that that OSB board is foil backed I guess that'll give it a little more structure, but not much but again, it was free and you can see where I made the ribs to uh, support the deck. And here's where I cut the bottom support flush. It, that's all at an angle to keep that 90 degree angle at the top of the ramp. Now I'm not gonna go into too much of the details on how I built the quarter pipe, because basically the construction methods are the same. The main difference is I did use plywood for the sides and you have to cut a coarse cut the transition it's not a straight line you have to get a piece of string and draw you out a curve and then follow that curve the other main difference is you know i wanted to use a round coping up here 
and you have to insert that into your um, deck and I didn't want any bolts on the top of it to attach use carriage bolts to attach it through the wood I put it inside and you can see inside here I hope it might be hard for you to see but you can see where I use carriage bolts where I cut those T-slots to attach the coping. Um, one thing I did do kind of different here, it wasn't intentional, I mismeasured with, uh, miscalculated with the, my slope or my uh, curve with a piece of wood that the piece of plywood I had left them sizes from. I, I forgot to take into account my coping basically. So I thought I was gonna have a wider deck on top. And so I ended up adding a piece out here so I could make my deck a little wider. That provides a plenty of support. You can see where I attach skateboard trucks, old junky skateboard trucks underneath it, just to be like flip it up, make, make it easier to move around. One thing I did do different back here is this back support wall is completely made up of old two by twos that were uh, again free scrap, and I cut them and then screwed and glued them together to make the end wall. Obviously, plywood would be just as strong and probably uh, lighter, but it's what I had. It's definitely gonna be nice and sturdy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned something about, if you wanna to try to make your own. Again, you can make these pretty much from just scrap wood that you find um, if you're patient and source it out. I did buy the masonite because I didn't feel like sourcing that and I wanted something a little more durable on my top. And, well, and I bought screws too. So other than that, this is, these are pretty much free projects. Even the piece of coping I used, uh, like the coping on this one, I used a piece of bed rail from another project. And this was a piece of, uh, used to hold up a satellite dish. It was, it was just a pole that held up a satellite dish in my yard that when I bought the house, I, I never used. So um, yeah, so a little careful shopping. You can get all this crap for free and make them. Uh, so, if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'll answer consider subscribing well in a future video i'm going to be showing you how i made a slappy pad uh, to go with my driveway skate park so subscribe so you don't miss out on that give a like if you like the video talk to you later youtube